Okay, let's talk about time calculations in Excel. For most people, when they work with time in Excel, they want to figure out the time in between, the time spent, or the duration. And yes, I will fully recognize there's a whole school of thought as to which method is best with keeping time in Excel, meaning do you use military time, do you use standard time, the various ways of calculating time. I get it. The goal here is just to keep it simple to convey the concepts. That said, let's take a look at our example. Here we have our employees, the start time and the end time, and we want to figure out the total amount of hours. To solve this, it's just a matter of simple subtraction. What we'll do is we'll type out equal, click on our end time, minus our start time. Now here's where most people get hung up. They can tell the duration is correct, but they're confused as to why the number is being displayed as an official time, which leads us to a big point. Oftentimes when you work with time in Excel, if something is not displayed properly, it's usually a matter of improper formatting. So what we'll do is we'll drag our formula down first, not gonna worry about what it looks like. Then we'll go up here and click on our number format, go down to where it says custom, and then choose this one that reads H colon MM. And there we go, not too bad. Now let's take a look at another common situation where you have to figure out hours worked minus lunchtime. So let's start by looking at our information. Here we have our employees, the time in, the time the lunch started, the time lunch ended, the time out, and we obviously want to figure out the hours worked. To solve this, it's a little funky, but it works. The way it's done is you subtract out your end time from your starting time, then subtract out the lunch ending time from the lunch start time. Yeah, not confusing at all, right? It'll be easier when you see it. Let's take a look. Let's click here, type an equal sign, click our timeout, minus our time in, minus, do an open parentheses, the lunch end, minus the lunch start, close the parentheses, press enter, and that looks about right, with the exception of the formatting issue. So let's drag this down, don't worry about what it looks like, go up here, apply our custom time format, and there we go. All right, not too bad.